floors between the lines. Help me count it down. Starting with three, two, one, go. Movement on the field. Red Alliance with two of their robots in motion. Blue Alliance has done the same here during the sandstorm period. Drivers are using the robots onboard cameras to help them guide their machines during the sandstorm. Sandstorm passes. Sandstorm shutters have closed. Drivers have direct line of sight with their machines. 2632 trying to apply a hatch panel to the far side Red Alliance rocket. No joy there. Staying on the far side, but this time on the blue side of the planet. Watching as 7055 works to add a hatch panel to the to the front of the Blue Alliance cargo ship. Staying on the blue side, near side of the field. That's going to be first team 3003. That's the tanks. Tanks with another hatch corner. Those hatch panels come in handy. And the tanks maneuver into position to add a hatch panel to the Blue Alliance cargo ship. 4085 tried to deliver some cargo, then lost its grip. Now has to go back and get some more. Stellar Robotics, near side of the field, works on the Red Alliance near side rocket ship. Antares is the name of this year's rocket. Quietly, deliberately loading cargo onto that near side Red Alliance rocket. 4085 for the Red Alliance works on the far side of the field, adding additional cargo to the cargo base of the Red Alliance cargo ship. Coming up on the final 30 seconds. 4601, already thinking about the end game. The Circuit Birds have taken up roost on level one of the half. In the end game now, 4085 for the Red Alliance, jacked up and ready to go. Antares delivers more cargo in the closing seconds. Time has expired. Blue Alliance, one robot on first. It's a Red Alliance. Each alliance able to earn 15 half climbing points, but the Red Alliance really poured it in with that cargo, earning 27.